Let's solve different type question which is related to high order linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient. Let's start. Here, it's a simple question normally, but what's the meaning of that part? Let's learn. In first order differential equation method that we learn exact separable homogeneous something like that. We know that if we have this type information in the question, they are called initial value program. Why we are using this type information? To find integral constant that is C. Here we will have C. We know always we are writing C1 exponential, C2 exponential. But what is that C? Yes, we can find that all C if we have some initial value for Y. Let's start. Let's write auxiliary equation for that part. This is constant coefficient. That's why I use auxiliary equation. R square 7 r plus 10 equals 0. Some product rule 5 and 2 r and r. r plus 5 r plus 2 equals 0. Okay. Some product rule r equal minus 5 r equal minus 2. So y equal c1 exponential stop first root minus 5x c2 exponential stop minus 2x. They are this is different roots. That's why we write separately. But the question gave us this information means find the constant c1 and c2 we can find we will use the information y not equal 4 and its derivative we need derivative that's why let's find derivative our aim is to find this constant this information says to us find constant because initial value problem means find c okay we will use derivative that's why take derivative what is derivative of exponential minus 5x minus 5 coefficient uh, derivative of power minus 5 that's why minus 5 c1 and same function here derivative of this part minus 2 minus 2 c2 exponential minus 2 x so we will use information y not equal minus 1 it means right instead of x 0 if we write 0 0 exponential 0 1 exponential 0 1 it will be c1 plus c2 exponential 0 will be 1 exponential 0 will be 1 c1 plus c2 equal minus 1 y prime 0 equal 2 it means in the derivative instead of x write 0 instead of x write 0 exponential 0 1 exponential 0 1 what we have minus 5 c1 minus 2 c2 equal 2 if we write 0 instead of x, exponential 0 equal 1. So let's, our aim is to find C1 and C2. Let's use an elim elimination method to eliminate C2. Let's multiply first equation by 2. 2C1, two minus 5C1, minus 3C1. 2C2, two minus 2C2, two two, remove. Minus 8 plus 2, minus 6. So here C1 will be 2. If we write C1 here, write c1 here 2 plus c2 equal minus 1 and c2 equal minus 6 if we send 2 to the other side so what is last result y equal y is the solution c1 c1 2 exponential minus 5x c2 c2 minus 6 minus 6 exponential minus 2x i substitute c1 and c2 in this expression so we found us here what we learn if we have this type information at that we have to find c1 and c2 that is constant part we have two two information about constant c1 and c2 that's why two value we have as initial if we have three constant c1 c2 c3 you will see three information about y in the question let's solve different type question as well here the roots directly given the roots directly given here the roots directly given and the question says that write the solution these are roots that is these all are that we are searching it's given already in the question so let's write y c1 exponential first root 2x c2 second root exponential 2x multiply by x why this is the repeated root multiply by x and c3 exponential 2x again multiply by x 
it will be x square because again repeated again multiplied by x it was x it is x square c4 and here 4 to x1 should minus 5x did we use minus 5 before no we didn't use minus 5 before that's why this is not repeated don't multiply by x so c5 x1 should minus 5x at this step we use minus 5 before that's why this is repeated root multiply by x continue c6 exponential 4x did we use 4 before no we didn't use that's why this is not repeated root here this is complex so what is a a is real part one b is imaginary part as positive number four okay real part one Imag let's say it. what is the format format was exponential sine exponential cosine so in order c7 exponential 1x sine 4x c7 exponential x cosine 4x this is the format of complex roots continue again roots a1 b4 again right c9 exponential ax sine bx and again exponential ax cosine bx this is the format of complex but you see we use exponential x sine for x before this is the repeated roots multiply by x we use exponential x cosine for x before this is repeated root multiply by x this is important sometimes the complex roots could be repeated be careful about this here the solution directly given and the question ask differential equation so normally we found axillary equation root and then solution here the roots given what is the meaning of this part c1 there is nothing means we have exponential 0x c2x there is nothing means exponential 0x so repeated roots that's why we multiply by x c3 so here what is r r means 0 here what is r r means 0 here what is r r is minus 1 here what is r r is 2 roots roots root and root if we have r equals 0 it means we have r if we have r equals 0 it means we have r if we have r minus r equal minus 1 it means we have r plus 1 okay we have r plus 1 because equalized to 0 r equal minus 1 if we have r equal to it means we have r minus 2 and equal to 0 equalize 0 equalize 0 equalize 0 minus 1 equalize 0 2 so let's multiply r square if we multiply this r square minus 2 r plus r minus 2 equals 0 so r square this part r square minus r minus 2 equals 0 multiply by r square r to the power of 4 minus minus here r cubed minus 2 r square we multiply r square what we have we are writing instead of order of derivative r to the power of power so r to the power of 4 means d4y over dx to the power of 4 r cubed means d cubed y that is third order derivative squared means second order derivative so you see we obtain differential equation in the upper reverse normally we gave differential equation we ask solution solution given in the question and we ask differential equation and this three question quite different type question to you and it's important for you to improve your knowledge in the topics of high order differential equation linear differential equation with constant coefficient